This week, we're going to talk about excavation by the numbers. Um, we're going to take a look here. We're going to break it down from zero uh, all the way to annually. Uh, so zero employees allowed underneath any load. Uh, one qualified person uh, must be doing ongoing inspections of any excavation or trench. Two, uh, all spoil piles, excavation material must be stored a minimum of two feet away from any excavation or, or trench. Um, three, uh, contact Miss Dig three days prior to any excavation work. Uh, that number is 811. Um, extend ladders, a uh, minimum of three rungs up or three foot above any access um, when we're accessing as excavation. Uh, it's no different than accessing any other work surface. Um, four, any excavation four feet or deeper, uh, we must either use a ladder or a ramp to ask, access that excavation or trench. Um, one or four methods uh, must be used to protect employees from uh, cave-in, and that is timber shores, hydraulic uh, shoring or jacks, uh, trench boxes, or sloping. Excavation five feet and in, in deeper shall be protected by um, shoring, or sloping and shown in table one. 10 feet uh, is the minimum distance we can work um, from any energized overhead utility line. Access, employees cannot work further than 25 feet from any access from excavation or trench. Um, so that can either be a ladder or a ramp. Uh, ramps. All earth ramps designed for access must be 45 degrees. All ramps used for access must be 45 degrees, no greater. Inspection. All excavators must have an annual inspection done by a qualified person. Um, excavators uh, need to be inspected just like cranes. Um, they're grouped in that category. That's this week's video, and have a safe week.